Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I know it's been a while, but I'm back and I'm here to show you how I French braid my hair. I like to call this my lazy girl hair because even though it takes a little bit of extra time on the front end to braid and to do, um, I can actually wear it like this for a few days before it starts to fall out. And then once it does get too unruly, I just take out the elastics and then I rock crazy line hair for another day or two before I have to actually wash it. So, on that note, let's get started. So today I'm starting with Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo to texturize my locks before braiding them. I'm working with freshly washed and dried hair so the initial dry shampoo will absorb oils produced during all day wear and help prevent the oily buildup I usually see after a day or two. I spray this into my roots and then use my fingers to massage it into my scalp. Next, I'm gonna part my hair all the way down the middle, creating two large sections. And then I'm gonna use a clear elastic to tie up one of those sections while I braid the other. Once I have the other side tied up, I'm gonna start with a small section at the very top of my head and separate that into three equal parts. Next, I'm gonna place the left side over the middle, creating a new middle piece, and then the right piece over the middle, creating a new middle piece. Then I'm gonna transfer all the pieces to one hand while keeping them separate so I can use the other hand to pull additional pieces from my scalp. Again, starting at the left, I use my pointer finger to grasp a section of hair, transferring it to the existing left piece of the braid. And I continue that step until all three pieces have a new section of hair. Then I pull left over middle and right over new middle, continuing these steps all the way down to the bottom of my scalp. When I reach the bottom of my scalp, I continue the braid to the end of my hair and tie it with a rubber elastic. And then I like to loosen up the braid a little bit once I have it tied up and pull a few pieces to frame my face. And now on to the next section. Again, I start with a small section at the top of my head, separating it into three equal parts, and I pull the left piece over the middle piece, and then the right piece over the new middle piece, creating the beginning part of your braid. Then I transfer all three pieces to one hand while keeping them separate, so I can use the other hand to pull in additional sections from my scalp. Starting from the left, I use my free hand to pull in an open section of hair and adding it to the existing left piece of the braid. 
and continue those steps until all three pieces have a new section of hair attached to them. And then I start at the beginning and pull the left over the middle and then right over the new middle and continue this all the way down to the bottom of my scalp. reach the bottom of my scalp I continue the braid until the ends of my hair and tie it with a clear elastic. Then I loosen up the bottom of the braid and then pull both braids kind of toward my face to make it a little bit looser and then I also pull some face framing pieces out at the front to continue my messy look. And then the last thing I like to do is use a texturizing spray to hold in my flyaways. It acts a little bit like a hairspray but a lot less sticky. I also like the texturizing spray because when I take the braids out it helps hold the natural wave from having my hair in the braids. And there you have it. And that's how I French braid my hair.